your mouth. So I can do a good oral exam, I can look at the glottis, I can look at the oropharynx, I can look at the teeth, and if I see anything abnormal, then I can pursue it. But that's, yeah, you're good at that. Yes, you are. Thank you very much. So that's a good chance to do that. Plus, they go into that tonic immobility. So it looks mean, but it's not. This is normal. This is how mom carries them around. The other thing, too, is when you do this, okay, you don't know any. Uh, now do the vaccines. So the stepper, rabies can do the right hind, okay? The stepper can do the left hind. So your skin is extremely tough. So and you don't want to think around and go, okay? So I want you to grab it and just stick it in. Yeah. Give it, don't have to ask for it back, and then pull out. So, all right? Are you ready? Okay, good. One thing you can do to help your holder is just before you poke, just tell them poking. And then that right at that very moment, they can kind of just pinch a little bit tighter to distract the parrot, okay? Mm -hmm. Or any animal that they're working with. Horse or something, you say poking, and then they know that when you poke, that horses are going to jump back and they're not leaning over and get hit in the face. So mm -hmm. just kind of communicate with the person you're working with, okay? So are you ready for the next one? Okay, leave that in there. Okay, that's your stepper. Jamie, mm -hmm. I've got, where are the other stickers? Um, so, if we're going to get your stickers, we'll put them on here. Okay, you thank you. That's perfect. And then do we have a separate cage to put these guys in? We're going to put them all in here. So, okay. we'll start, we'll just hold them so that you can go ahead and start putting the vaccinated ones in. So you've got to monitor them for a little while to make sure they don't have any reaction with the vaccine. So, we'll just hold them. We'll, we'll hold them all because he's going to put the ones yeah, yeah, that have been vaccinated in here. So we're going to pull them out and then he's going to start putting them in. So let's see. That was Rory. Now he's doing Gemini. Uh, this is Nibbler. And then he has Mako. Hello, Mako. How are you? <laughs> Mako's really pretty. Nice coloring. Yeah, yeah he's a sable ferret. Splinter Mako is really common in ferrets. In the olden days, we yanked out every sling that we ever felt that was big because we had to be diseased. And then after doing it, for two or three years and everyone had been coming back normal, you know, the medical community kind of realized, oh, well, some of them have to explain this one. So, okay, you ready? Yep. So on the right leg, so this is rabies. Mm -hmm. Okay, open. Here you go, a little pinch. A little pinch. Oh, you are so brave. <laughs> <laughs> so they're getting their annual rabies and distemper today. You see how they just stay so relaxed? Yeah. And again, that's that tonic immobility, and it looks really mean, but they're perfectly happy with that. Okay. There you go. There you go. The doctor, what's the reason that the rabies goes in one side and the distemper the other? Because every once in a while you're going to get a reaction, and if we have a reaction, we want to know what caused it. So if you just kind of randomly gave them in different places, you don't know. Well, respond to the rabies or was that a distemper reaction or what was it? Gotcha. So this way if he has a swelling or a reaction on the right hand side we know that okay it was rabies we need to try a different brand next time or just skip and do something else. Probably. Yeah. Nice.